Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at EMI calculations. So equated monthly installments, is the type of calculation you want to perform when you're working out your monthly repayments on a mortgage or a car loan, something like that. So my first example here, I'm borrowing 100,000 over 15 years, an interest rate of 5% per annum. That gives me a monthly repayment value of £790.79, total interest payable £42,342.85. If I change these, so I was borrowing 200000 over 25 years, with an interest rate of 2.09, then it would give me my new figures. Now this amortisation table or repayment table at the bottom here I'm actually going to cover how to create this dynamically so it responds to whatever you type up here. I'm going to cover that in a different video and I'll leave a link to that up in the top right hand corner and also in the description of this video. Okay, let's see how we can create these calculations. So you need three bits of information to work out your monthly repayments. The amount you're going to borrow. So let's say we're going to borrow 50,000 and we're going to borrow it over 10 years with an interest rate of 4.5%. Now, what I'm gonna do is create another column with the monthly value. So principal amount will be the same and the tenure in months would be the years times 12 and the interest rate per month would be the annual interest rate divided by 12. So I now have all the values that I need to do my EMI calculation. Now the function to use for this calculation is the payment function, PMT, and we only need to use the mandatory arguments here, rate, NPER, and PV. FV and type, we do not need to use. So rate is our monthly interest rate, comma. NPER is the number of monthly repayments we're making. That's up here in D7. And present value is the value of the loan. Close the bracket, press enter, and you can see I get a minus figure there. You can quickly resolve that by just putting a minus in front of the payment function. And there we are. I have my monthly repayment figure. Now to work out the total interest, I use this function, C-U-M-I-P-M-T, and that requires a rate, which is our monthly interest rate. N per number of repayments, present value, the value of the loan, start period would be one, the first month, and the end period would be the last payment we're gonna make, so the 120th, so I can click in this cell here for that, comma, and then you have to specify a type, are the payments made at the end of the period or the beginning of the period? We're gonna assume payments are made at the end of the period, so zero, Close the bracket, press enter. Again, it gives you a minus value, but if we put a minus sign in front of the function, it gives us a positive value. If I changed these figures a little bit, so I was gonna borrow 5,000 pounds over one year with an interest rate of 6%, then the total interest is 163 pound 99, and the equated monthly installments 430, if I look down here at my repayment schedule and I've selected all the interests payable and I look down here on my status bar, I can see that the sum of those values I've selected is £163.99, which is the answer I have up here. Okay, that's all I want to cover in this particular video. If you want to know how to create the repayment schedule shown here, then please hop over to that particular video. I'm actually going to do two videos on this, one for Excel 365, which you can use spilled dynamic arrays for, and the other for older versions of Excel. Okay, thanks very much for listening. Hopefully it's been useful. If it has, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video.